Good morning everyone, uh, it's Bob here from Greybeard Models. Um, just do, I thought I'd do a quick unboxing. Um, reason being, my brother Peter has, uh, has got a Model A um, and he inadvertently bought a 1 scale Model A and it just so happens that I've got this one in my stash. Um, it's in a great box, that's the first thing, I mean it's a good solid box. 50 on there um, the guy I bought it from at a model show was selling, selling it for 50 pounds and he took an offer of 40 so I, I was quite pleased with that 40 pounds um, it's an official Ford licensed product it's got the logo there um, it's got trying to keep the glare off some pretty cool pictures of the model built um, and a bit of writing about about the kit. I can't turn it around. It's a big box. <laughs> and then on this side, it's just got the normal. Whoops! Hit the camera. Uh, where it's made, that sort of thing. Copyrighted 2011. Uh, mini craft models made in China. Everything is now and imported into the UK by a company called Creative Models in uh, Cambridge. Um, so let's get, the, let's get this huge lid off and uh, we'll have a quick look. First and foremost, got a black and white sort of A4 size um, instructions a um, little bit of history of the vehicle puts it down as uh, you know Model A produced in several forms and uh, yeah originally produced in 1931 it's got a sprue call out which is quite cool and usual sort of things about the assembly um, you know understanding the, the, the sort of signs and things and what to stick and what not to stick it's got quite a, a neat engine setup uh, engine and, and gearbox and uh, looks, looks a pretty good build there um, and then the chassis is made up of uh, two long rails and then cross members and then the engine's mounted in. Uh, just turning it out, I put the wheels together and setting up the steering and then the um, transmission. Looks quite, a, quite an interesting kit to build. Um, putting the basic body shell together and then adding various bits and pieces into the cab various foot pedals hang lever there I don't know what is that a handbrake over that side I don't know um, I'd have to I don't, I don't know these vehicles but um, yeah interesting kit to build by the looks of it it's fairly looks fairly straightforward um, doors doors are separate which is cool and uh, has hinges to make there um, yeah pretty cool and uh, I noticed the hood's made up of four parts with hinges so that would be good looking at the hinge assemblies and then the flatbed at the back all good um, with hinges again for the tailgate and uh, looks like a cover over the top and then just adding on the additional bits and pieces I think it lends itself to some really good custom work or uh, some sort of some sort of work just to give it some character I suppose parts in the bag Looking at the parts, this is the parts for the, 
for the cap and the hood. Engine parts are molded in black, which is cool. I'm not seeing any sink marks or ejector pin marks that are in awkward places. And having said that, I've just seen one there, it's on the end of the engine block that's probably, probably hidden by the transmission or the gearbox. So that's cool. Um, some fancy crime bits. I wonder if the option's there. But anyway, sprue's a bit, a bit warped, but I don't think that's a, I don't think that's a real issue. The cab roof comes in a, in a nice little box to protect it, which is good. Probably because of these, these arms there. That's nice. Good bit of thought gone into that. Five tyres. Firestone logo on them, moulded onto them, which will look nice when they're picked out. Just going down the, the sort of smart snazzy route. Um, more chassis and engine parts. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and again, more chassis, springs. Nicely moulded. There's a little bit of flash on some of the sprues, but I can't see any flash or anything on on the plastic parts. Wheels. Uh, yeah, a bit of, a bit of flash around this one. Around the around the spokes, there's 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 a few bits of flash, but I mean that's probably. To be expected is it there's a whole chunk of flash around that one windscreen frame is separate and the body parts options on the on the front wing Hmm. Interesting, Pretty interesting to see why. Clear parts, headlights, tail lights, some metal bits, metal axle, small pieces of chain, and some pins. And uh, number plates, American obviously. I'll have to decide, and some nice little Ford logos there as well. I don't know if that's gone out of focus. Yeah, some nice little Ford logos there. And it says copyright 2011 Mini Craft Model Kit. Hmm, interesting. And then some more of the body parts. The inner door panels here with like a soft glove it's sort of a pouch thing molded on there next part of the molding there That's a shame. It's got really nice, sorry, just one out shot. Um, it's got really nice wooden pattern on this part of the, the tail. Like huge, absolutely huge ejector pin marks on it. That's a shame. 
and then the other side which I'm assuming is the underside there's no ejector pin marks um, yeah, I didn't think that one through particularly but anyway there you have it it's the 1 16th scale Ford Model A 1931 pickup. Gonna be an interesting build boys. Thanks for dropping by. See you again soon.